Alien Diamond Let's Play. Hello there, it's very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan, however everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Little Munchlax. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? I'm going to choose the, the default. Uh, Dawn, Sprite. Of course, name is Devin. What might his name be? That's Barry, of course. Very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless people and Pokemon. I think I said that backwards. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now, go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados, brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Devin, Barry came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Switch the text speed to fast before I forget. Find a frame that I want. Yeah, let's go with this frame. Don't give nicknames. Manual. Auto save off. And keep everything else the same. Oh yes, Devin, go and go, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It'd be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Thud. What was that about? Oh, hey, Devin. I'm going to the lake. You should come, too, and be quick about it. Okay, Devin, I'm finding you one million Poke Dollars if you're late. Oh jeez, forgot something. Oh hi Devin, did you come calling on Barry? He was gone for a second, then he came running back in. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. Poor Barry's mom looks exhausted. I better take my bag and guidebook too. Oh hey Devin, we're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on... I'll be waiting on the road. It's a ten million dollar poke. Po if I bleh, 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 bleh. yeah, speaking is hard sometimes. Hey, you saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, Search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake? That got me. Th that show got me thinking. I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're, we're gonna do. We're gonna find a Pokemon like that. Sounds good to me, let's go. Alright, to the lake. Let's find us a Red Gyarados. What's going on? Professor, there's nothing out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. 
Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine. It's enough that we have seen the lake. Lucas, we're leaving. Professor, you've been gone for four years now. How are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? Hmm, there's one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Excuse me, let us pass, please. Sorry, folks. What was that about? Those two. Huh, Devin, let's check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass. No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for wild Pokemon to come out. It's a briefcase. Those people forgot it here. What are you supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say Professor. Wah, wow, the Pokemon? What's going on? Look, these are Pokeballs. Let's battle by using the Pokemon in them. Which one do you want? There's Chimchar, Hurtwig, and Piplup, of course. I'm going to choose Chimchar. Looks like this Chimchar can't even two-shot this Starly. My Pimplup was way tougher than yours. They were other people's Pokémon, but we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Phew, you found the briefcase? The professor would have gone through the roof if he knew I forgot it here. Huh, what? Did you guys- did you use these Pokemon? Oh man, how am I gonna explain this to the professor? This is the professor's briefcase, so I'll take it back, okay? What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Devin. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. You go ahead. I know we have I know we have to go return these Pokemon, but they're not ours. But I want to spend a little more time with this little guy. Mild nature plus special attack minus defense. Not too bad. Hey, it's those people. It's that- is that old guy staring at us? Hmm. I heard from Lucas that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Chimchar and Piplup. I see. That's how it is. Lucas, I'm going back to my lab. Uh, yeah, of course, Professor. Wait for me. You should visit us at our lab later, I think. We'll be seeing you. What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was- My cat just had butted the controller, so I missed the text box. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that you- that both you and Barry are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sandgem Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Devin, I think you need to visit him in Sandgem Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use this Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. Oh, I know, Devin. Put these on. Going to Sandgem Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With these running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Uh, yeah. No need instructions on how to run.
I don't know why I went over here. I don't think I need to go to Barry's house. Wild Pokemon lurk in tall grass. They can come bursting out at any time. If you're wanting to battle wild Pokemon, just walk in tall grass. If you want to avoid, them poke avoid wild Pokemon, then stay out of the tall grass. Starly. Alright, still able to three shot the star leave and after the growls. And another wild encounter immediately. Another star leave. This darling might be a four shot, it looks like. Ooh, nope, three shot. Not even a crit. Level up to level six. Learned Ember, thank you. If your Pokemon health, its HP is getting low, you should go home and get some rest. Ledge is one way, jump down for a shortcut to Twinleaf Town. Hi, I've been waiting for you. Please come with me. The professor's waiting to see you. See, this is our Pokemon Research Lab. We'll just go ahead and... I accidentally skipped through all the berries text. Your friend always seems to be in such a rush. Anyway, let's go in. Finally you've come. Devin, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. That Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then, I'll give you that Chimchar as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Nah. Your friend Barry told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it's still, though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with the Chimchar. I'm ever glad you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, well, I don't even want to think about it. Mm-hmm. Let's get move. Let's move on to the main topic. There is something special. Something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kind of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. We'll use it to record all the data record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me. Sure, I got nothing better to do. Good answer. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data of any of every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Devin, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got the same kind of Pokedex as you. When you walked up to Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? If I've lived for 60 long years, even now I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless, well, countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Devin, your grand adventure begins right now. The professor asked me to help, so I'm going to go out and fill the Pokedex pages too. That makes us comrades working towards the same goal. I'll teach you stuff later, okay? Hey Devin, I want to show you a few things, so follow me. 
This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. You can get your Pokemon healed if it's been hurt in battle. You'll find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Over here, the building with the blue roof is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell all sorts of items. But ever since you're Ricky Trainer, you won't be able to buy very much stuff. Don't worry about it, okay? Oh, yeah, right, Devin. You should let your family know you're helping Rowan put together his Pokedex. You may have to travel pretty far, so you should let somebody know. Oh, but first, go heal your Pokemon up at the Pokemon Center. You'll be safe then, okay? I'll be seeing you. Didn't talk to this person. I work at the Pokemart. Ah, oh, this is the free potion person. Oh, sorry, free potions person. Alright, Ember should two shot. Is there anything up here at all? Well, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Devin. I've got something that you'll find useful. Guidebook. I will never use this. That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you're curious uh, about something or have questions during your adventure. You may find an answer. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your own Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking. I'll be alright by myself, dear. You go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experiences and sen new and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But please come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Excuse me, is Little Barry here? Oh, no he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least want him to take this. Not to worry, Devin will deliver that to him, won't you, Devin? Oh, really? You do that for me? Devin, please take this to Barry for me. Bye-bye, Devin. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would have probably headed straight to Jubilife City. Please take that to Barry. Oh, Devin, you're forgetting something important. My hat. Yes, that hat always did sue you well, Devin. Now go off you go. Devin, do you know how to catch a Pokemon? I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch, okay?
Alright, I think he is down. Time to throw a Pokeball. And that's how it's done. Actually, I should have lowered the target's HP some more. Yep, the important thing is to lower the Pokemon's HP as much as possible. See, a healthy Pokemon isn't easy to catch. Oh yeah, they also get easier to catch if you make up, make one of the Pokemon put them to sleep, or such. Here, Devin, I'll give you some Pokeballs to get you started. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, you'll be able to travel farther. That way you'll have a better shot at meeting more Pokemon. See you around! Do I have a cool trainer ID? No, not really. Potion, 20 Pokeballs, okay. We do. Burnt. Is this a simple Bidoof though? No it is not, but that's fine because I'm not going to actually use Bidoof on my team. I'm going to be using a really, like, stereotypical Gen 4 team, but I'm going Pro were my, I guess, third games. I had Sapphire, I had Fire Red, Emerald, but I want to count that with the other Gen 3 games, and then I had Diamond. So of course I'm going to use a super basic team if this is one of the games I grew up playing. There we go, caught Shinx. Um, unfortunately I did not pay attention to if it was Rivalry or Intimidate. I think it was Rivalry, so I'm actually going to catch a different one. I didn't think about that. Yeah, it's rivalry. I don't want a rivalry one. Drop to level seven. Starly. I can't have a basic Sinnoh team without a Starly. It should live in Ember. No, it doesn't. Critical hit.
We do up to level four. Go heal because Chimchar is starting to run low on health. And with the way modern Pokemon works, with all the Pokemon in your team gaining experience, there's no reason to not have a full team. So I will be catching Pokemon, switching Pokemon in and out of the team pretty often. Cricketot. As long as I don't crit, it should definitely live another scratch, but I think a crit would kill it from this range. There we go, caught the cricket tide. Jinx up to level 4. Jinx learning Thundershock. Look for a Shinx and a Starly. Shinx with Intimidate and a Starly. Jim Char up to level 8. Another Bidoof. Thanks up to level 5. Cricketide and Badoof both up to level 5. Shinx, please have Intimidate. It does have Intimidate, perfect.
Alright, now I just need to not crit it here. There we go, so that'll be the Shinx that I'm using. Hopefully it's a good nature. If not, this is an in-game team, so it doesn't really matter. Relax nature plus defense minus speed. Um, yeah, that's not a good nature, but that's whatever. I just need Starly. Ooh, Starly's level 4. Alright, so there we go, there's the first three members of the team with Shink, Starly, and Chimchar. Starly is a rash nature plus special attack minus special defense. Minus special defense sucks, I would have. Adam would have been perfect, but. Again, in game team, don't really care too much about natures. Wild Bidoof. Go ahead and run away from it. Youngster Tristan, Starly. Early fainted. First trainer battle in the books. Chimchar, Shinx, Krikatot, and the other Shinx all level up. Chimchar learns Taunt. Shinx learns Thundershock. Krikatot learns Struggle Bug. Not quite a one shot. Starly level five learns quick attack. 
Bidoof, staying with Chimchar. Jinx level 5. Krikatosh, Shinx, and Bidoof all level up. Charlie's up to level 6. Found a potion. And here we are, Jubilife City. Sorry if you can hear my cat or hear me kissing my cat or hear my kitty sniffling. She's deciding to be a little social baby even though she's got allergies. Or my other cat just screaming at her toy in the background. Town map. Abra. Shanks up to level 6 now. 
Beat school kid Harrison. Come on, there you go. School kid Christine. Another Abra with charge beam. And another two shot. I was wondering if that one would be a roll or not. Jim tries up to level 10, Shinx and Starly up to level 7, my other Shinx up to level 8. Midnight, if you want me to play fetch, you have to bring the toy to me. Shinx learn charge. TM10, which I believe is the TM for Charge Beam. No, it's TM for Workup. Coupon number one. Coupon number three. And coupon number two. And the poke etch. Watch, calculator, step counter, Pokemons. Is the time right? Yeah, it is. Cool. Head into the Pokemart, see what we can buy. Pokeballs, Heal Ball, Potion, Antidote, Paralyze Heal. Buy a few Antidotes. Buy some Paralyze Heals. Buy 10 Pokeballs, get a Premier Ball. Go ahead and save the game. And here we are, rival fight number one. There it is. Starly. Charlie will go down in two embers, nice. A 
Unnecessary critical hit. Rekatide up to level 8, Bidoof up to level 7. Piplup, we will switch over to Shinx. Let Shinx give it a shot. And Thundershock looks like it might be a 4-shot. Yeah, it's definitely a 4-shot. Jinx up to level 9, Starly up to level 8. Jinx learns charge. I want to catch a Badu, but I'm pretty sure he can't catch those at night. Krikatod and Shanks up to level 9. Zubat. Let's bring in Shanks for that one. I forgot that inner focus prevents Intimidate from working now. I'm drop to level 11. Youngster Dallas sends out Cricketot. Charlie up to level nine. Learns wing attack. Ooh, Abra. Awesome, caught Abra first try. 
We do up to level eight. Add Abra to my party, get rid of the second Shinx. Send out Starly. We'll keep Chimchar in. I need Chimchar to get experience. Badoo. Abra up to level 6. Oh no, I can catch it at night. In that case... Shinx is up to level 10 now. No, not Krikatot. On Badoo. No, not Badoo. There's a Badoo. Hopefully it can live a scratch. It can, cool. Cool, we'll call it Badoo. 
That's four members of the team already. And you know what, I just added Abra to the team, but I already switched it out. Oh yeah, I forgot Jim Charles paralyzed. Do up to level 5, Cricket out up to level 10. Jim Char up to level 12. He wants to learn power up punch, thank you. Crick Tot's evolving. Had to turn up the in-game volume for the Cricket Tune Cry. Alright, so now... Ah, no. Bring Abra back. Get Cricket Tune in the box. Last Samantha.
Oh, it actually didn't one shot with Ember. That's surprising. Charlie up to level 10, Buddy up to level 6. Back to Route 203. Dumpster Sebastian, Machop, Chimchar looks like its neck is struggling to hold up that big ass head. Apper and Budu both level up. Redoof up to level 9, learns rollout. Found a repel. Got TM ninety eight and hidden moves app.
Sweeps is a two shot. Buddy up to level eight. And Shinx up to level eleven. Badu. And Psyduck. Can't remember if Psyduck would have confusion or not at this level, so that's why I went to Shinx instead of Budu. Abra up to level 9. There we go, bag of stardust. I knew there was something up here. Don't think there's anything this way. No. Oh, this dude gives you super potion. Yes, there is. Yo, dude. Pop the Geo Dude. Chimchar up to level 13, Buddy up to level 9. K 
escape rope. Geodude. How much will Power of Punch do? A little over half. So it'll definitely KO this hit with the attack boost. Sandstorm. Charlie up to level 11. About to send out Onyx. Let's see how Badu does. Onyx uses Hardens, so that won't affect Buddy at all. And second Absorb will KO. Kirby, you're looking at the microphone. Anything you want to say? No, you're going to be quiet. One of my cats is like right in front of the microphone, so sorry if I got a bit quieter. Another wild geo dude. I feel like you can catch Machop and Onyx in here too, but I could be mistaken. Oh, Kirby, did you sneeze into the microphone, baby? Since Bodu is barely higher level than the wild Pokemon, 30. Bless you, Kirby. Gonna switch it to the front to train, beat the wild Pokemon. Abra's up to level 10, and so is Bodu. Gonna switch capture devices here real quick. Oh, never mind. I was gonna show my cat, but she hopped down. She was on my shoulder. There we go, that Geodude didn't have Sturdy. A chop, not ideal. Out of the cup. 
Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Revenge. Gonna do a lot again. Gonna switch Pokemon. Switch to Starly. I need Buddy to get experience. I wanted it to get the full experience, but that's not gonna work out. Low kick, Starly is super light. Wing attack should KO from here. Shinx, Budu, and Bidoof all level up. Shinx is learning Bite. And that's all the trainers in here. Oh, heal up. That is where we will end off for this stream. Go ahead and save in front of the gym so I remember where I am. Or go inside the gym, I guess. Save. Pokedex is up to 15 Pokemon, hour 16, and we are just now getting to the first gym. <laughs> Next time we take on the gym, and move on with the game from here. <laughs>